In New York, the coin tossing ceremony took on the proportions of a cocktail party. And the host giants must have slipped visiting Chicago a Mickey because the bears were having their problems. The first miscue set up Fran Tarkenton's 42-yard touchdown bomb to number 85, Don Herman. Their second mistake, an unsuccessful lateral to Gail Sayers, number 40, was equally disastrous. Tarkenton again went to the air. Number 81, Freeman White, made a leaping catch to put New York ahead 14 to nothing. The Bears finally started to put it together, and Jack Cannon hit number 89, Bob Wallace, for a touchdown. But a Chicago relapse and a New York interception gave the Tarkenton-Herman duo another opportunity. And they could have danced all night. Ken Cannon and number 84, Austin Denny, brought the Bears to within 21-14 at the half. In the second half, the Bears seemed rejuvenated as Ken Cannon skirted left end for 31 yards and followed this with a one-yard plunge to tie the score at 21. Although Gail Sayers set up a field goal with this reception, he was pretty well stifled by the giant defense most of the afternoon. It took him 21 carries to gain 71 yards for an average of only 3.5 yards per carry. Mac Percival's 25-yard field goal put the Bears ahead for the first time with two and a half minutes left in the game. But their lead was short-lived as Fran Tarkenton hit number 40. Joe Morrison with 59 seconds left to give the Giants a 28-24 victory and a share of the lead in the Century Division.